My name is Dr. Mary O'Connor. I'm the Chair of Orthopedic Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. I subspecialize in the treatment of patients with bone and soft tissue tumors. And today I'd like to speak to you about cartilage tumors in bone, a subject that can be confusing. So I hope that this video will provide a little clarity to you and your family regarding this. Cartilage tumors in bone range from benign tumors that we call enchondromas to malignant, meaning cancerous tumors that we call chondrosarcoma. Chondro meaning cartilage, sarcoma meaning cancerous soft tissue tumor. And the good news is that most patients with cartilage tumors in bone have a benign tumor or a low-grade chondrosarcoma, which means it's cancerous, but it's the risk of it spreading is low. Some people have a high-grade chondrosarcoma, and those can be uh, deadly. There's a much higher risk of metastasis, which means spread, and so those need to be treated very aggressively, usually with the combination of chemotherapy and surgery. But what I'd like to focus on today is the more confusing tumors, meaning the benign enchondromas and the atypical enchondroma and the low-grade chondrosarcoma. So really, it, the concept is there's a spectrum of these tumors from ones that we are confident are benign, meaning it's not going to spread anyplace else, to ones that we know are low-grade cancer, meaning a low-grade chondrosarcoma that can spread, although the risk of spread is not real high. We also know that benign enchondromas with time can sometimes change to become low-grade chondrosarcomas, and even rarely change to be high-grade chondrosarcomas. Oftentimes, we monitor patients to see if the tumor changes. Many patients have these tumors discovered by accident, so they come in for another reason, an x-ray is obtained, and lo and behold, there's an abnormality on the x-ray, which then prompts referral to a specialist like me who specializes in bone tumor surgery. So sometimes we, we watch patients and get new x-rays or a new CT scan, commonly called a CAT scan, or a new MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, which is another special type of x-ray. And so sometimes we'll monitor the tumor to see if there's any change. Other times, we will go in and we'll scrape out the tumor. So we make a hole in the bone, clean out the tumor, pack the defect with bone graft, and sometimes we need to put a plate and screws on to help strengthen the bone so it won't so the risk of, of fracture or breaking is low. We don't typically do a needle biopsy, and that's a very frequent question from patients. Well, doc, why don't you do a needle biopsy so you can tell me what it is? Well, the reason is, is because with a needle biopsy, we don't get a lot of tissue. In fact, we get a very small amount of tissue, and it's difficult for the pathologist. The pathologist is the doctor who looks at the tissue under the microscope to tell us what the diagnosis is, it's difficult for the pathologist to differentiate between a benign enchondroma and a low-grade chondrosarcoma with just a little bit of tissue. We also rely a lot on the x-ray findings in terms of whether the tumor looks aggressive or not to help us understand if it's really a low-grade chondrosarcoma or a benign enchondroma. There's also a lot of controversy among bone tumor specialists about what the right treatment is for a patient that has a low-grade chondrosarcoma in bone. We used to cut out that whole section of bone where the tumor was, and then we'd have to do a very complex and specialized form of reconstruction to make up for that defect. So put in bone from a cadaver or a special type of joint replacement implant. We found that for a lot of patients that's probably more treatment that is necessary and that we can scrape out that low-grade chondrosarcoma, pack it with the bone graft, put on a plate and screws, and that that will take care of the problem. There's still a little bit more risk with doing that as opposed to 
cutting out the whole segment. And for low-grade chondrosarcomas that involve the pelvis, those still should be treated more aggressively. Because if you just go and scrape those out, there's a higher risk that they're going to come back. So the question of what the best treatment is for a true low-grade chondrosarcoma, whether you need to be uh, doing the more aggressive surgery, cutting the whole segment out, or whether you can get by with less aggressive surgery, meaning scraping it out and bone grafting, is something that is very uh, is something that's still not clear, and so you need to have a very good conversation with your surgeon about that, because the best recommendation is going to depend on your individual situation.